Never. I'm, I'm afraid of matches. Really? Yeah, I can only use safety matches. Now, what's your... Uh, what's what? a safety match? You know, the, the wooden ones. Not the actual, like, uh, like the ones you buy in a store when you I, get cigarettes. Oh, okay. Right, you're 33 years old now. Two. And you still <laughs> won't use a match? No, I, I can only use safety matches. All right, come on over here and I'll show you how to use it safely. Come no, on I know over. how to use it. I, I just can't... I, I just refuse to use them. So you can't, you're not even close Look, to it. that match is lit. Ronnie lit it. It's very safe. He's being responsible. And how bad, now that you're a man, how bad is a match going to burn you? <laughs> I don't know. It's just one of those it things. It still scares you? It still freaks me Here, out Yeah, I'll show you how to do it. No, All right, I'm Ronnie, come bad. over to Earl. I, show I, him I how, to how to do it. I just don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> how about a little fire, Scarecrow? <laughs> Earl, Earl, get back from behind the countertop. Are you really that scared? Earl, get out from behind that wall. Ronnie's just trying to teach you. Come on over. Flicking matches Let out. Let me just see you try to light the pack. I'll just try to light one. Come on over. All right, go ahead, try. You got the pack of matches. Is it nerve-wracking for you? Yes. Just they're us they're not do. safety matches. They don't come with a net. <laughs> All right, another match just got thrown Earl's Come way. Come on, Earl. Come on over no. here. I wanted to watch this. Another lit match. He's throwing lit matches. No, in. you're fine. Come on over. Earl, at least stay near a microphone. You know how the, you know how the blacks are near flames? <laughs> Look at him run. Why are you running? That's not going to hurt you. It's a little tiny match. It'll it's bounce all... off, if anything. It's a little spark. All right, let me, let me see you light a match. Look at it. Oh, he Look, just he's dropping them. He's dropping them left and right. Fesno, would you call uh, that a phobia? Yeah, yeah, he's got pyrophobia. Pyrophobia. All right, go ahead, light it up. I, I, I can't do I never now. saw an adult afraid of matches. Now, Earl, are you scared like um, like when you turn on the stove and you light the burner? No, that Does I that can do. Does that scare you? That I can do, but I can only do it with safety, with, again, with like the with wooden... With safety goggles on. With, with the wooden... What do you normally use, a lighter? You carry a lighter around? You're no. okay with a lighter? No, I never smoked, so I never had like a lighter, so I always get wooden matches. I can you never use, use a lighter? No. Can you light a lighter? I haven't done it in a while. All right, let me... Come on over here next to me so I can see it. Come on over. I'm not going to throw anything at you. All right. Go on over. Come on over. You haven't lit the match yet. First, let's see you light a match. <laughs> Go ahead, light it up. He's scared. Stop. Now you're picking on you my phobia. Me... I yeah, didn't know you were phobia. Like a burning I'm match. Phobia. I'm sorry. All right, light it. I, I can't see that. I can't do it. I'm too <laughs> he nervous. really can't do it. You can't light a match. <laughs> I, gotta, I don't know what it is. Um, maybe something happened when I was a kid, but I don't know. That you can't remember? And Uncle, Probably not. I mean, like, my, like one of my nephews has, like, a major phobia with matches. Something really? happened to him as a kid, and they, they're well, trying to figure out what happened. I thought yeah. you were afraid of Natchez, Mississippi. <laughs> I can understand, but he's a kid. You're 33. Two! <laughs> he claims he's just two. Maybe you had a bad uncle who dripped like candle wax on your nads, and you're really uh, afraid now. No, I don't. Wouldn't that be a good uncle? uncle. <laughs> <laughs> be the best. <laughs> I light a match, Earl. I've never seen I, this I, in an adult. I swear to God, I can't do it. You can't? I can't do it. I just try. I, 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 my hands are shaking. I can't do wow. it. Wow! The sweat on his palms, Ronnie, is putting out the matches. I can't do it. I'd love to talk to somebody that would regress you. Now, did you... Did you... I just never had... it. I don't know what it is. I just can't do it. I just don't have the, the courage. And you were the never... courage to light a match. And you were never in a fire. No. My grandma, she used to set the damn house on fire constantly. That woman couldn't turn on the stove that the kitchen didn't burn down. You're not helping uh, oh. Earl get over his phobia. Oh, that's my mammy. The only thing to do, and I studied some psychology in high school, the only thing to do is keep throwing Stop. matches at him. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> so you can't light that match. No. I, I try the lighter. That's amazing. Can you light a lighter? Lighter? Yeah. What are you going to do if you try to take up smoking? That's you're why gonna I look, You're going to look ridiculous with an unlit cigarette in your face. Could you light this joint for me? I'm going to a concert. <laughs> well, the funny part was, like... <laughs> the funny part was, remember when the uh, the Yankees won the World Series, I smoked a cigar. Oh, and you wanted to burn down the Bronx. Yeah, I remember. I didn't want to burn down. You, were light, you wanted to light those trash barrels but I, on but fire. Remember, but, Ron, remember, you had to light my cigar. 
Oh, well, no, you I don't remember. Cigar, and I could, you and said you to me, light my cigar, and I lit it for you. It wasn't a big deal to me. <laughs> no, but I couldn't. Thing to I do. could not do it on my I, own. You tried to light the match. You just can't do it. I can't do it. Can you? You can't light the lighter. I can't light the lighter either. Really? I, it freaks me out. Don't throw any more matches. Come on over here. No. Come on over here. No. I'm not. I swear to you. Just go over. I will not Ronnie. throw a match at you. I'm just going to show you the safe way to do it. He's going to take care of you. Come on over here. Stand Rory, by bring Ronnie. him over. I'm scared. Bring him over. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's good. All right. Now, I promise I'm not going to throw this match at you. He's he's just going to show you this time. All right. Here it is. All right. All right there Rory's goes. got a hold of him. There's the pack. Oh, my gosh. The whole pack of matches is on fire. The whole pack of matches is lit. Now, does that help you any, Earl? No. Why? I thought that would have done it. That would have done the trick. And you can't light a lighter? That's weird. Now, I've never done anything that got out of hand, but I love burning stuff. I wasn't a, one of those kids when there was a candle lit. I couldn't stay out of the damn thing. Well, don't you think it's almost a... Uh human thing for especially a masculine thing to be obsessed with fire it's it's our first conquest over nature earl and you wonder why their people never even came up with a compass mm-hmm barely shoes yeah no there was no shoes in the meantime we're driving cars and we're going what is this uh seems like the road stopped right here in africa <laughs> they built the pyramids egyptians did and they had to get the jews to do it for them right <laughs> Wait, well, the Egyptians put in the work order. They design them, and the Jews build them. I don't think those, any of those guys spoke any French. <laughs> All right, are you saying... What? Are, what's that are, are you now saying Arabs are blacks? Because that's going to it's gonna come to a shock to a lot of Arabs. <laughs> they'll, they'll forget about Israel and turn back. Start <laughs> going after Africa. He's just trying to divert the conversation from the fact that he has pyrophobia. I have a pyrophobia. I, have a I had no I'm idea, sorry. buddy. Are you on fire? No. <laughs> Trust me, I would know if I was. At <laughs> one point during this show tonight, I will light you on fire. And I'll tell you why. To get you over this thing. No. no you no. are such a nice friend to him. I hope he appreciates it. I am not doing my impersonation of Richard Pryor. Come on over here and I'll show you how a match lights, uh, match burns twice. <laughs> All right, here's David. David, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, David. Hi, Ron. Hi, Fez. Hey, Hi, buddy. David. Hey, Earl. I got the same problem. Exactly the same as Earl? Yeah, I can't handle matches anymore. Oh, I thought you meant you were black. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't You can't light a match? No, I, not the you know the ones you get from at the supermarket or whatever. Yeah, it got to be a wooden one. You know, why I'm so don't? Why, what what is the safety of wooden matches? I don't know. About. I know. I don't understand why that's any safer than these cardboard or paper matches. Those things. Call them. Those wooden matches. You're gonna light off your zipper. <laughs> you know, you can end. They'll end up going up in your pants. Yeah, you yeah, walk really. too fast. Now, David, uh, do you smoke? No, sir. Can you light a lighter? Yeah. So it's just a match for you. Yeah. You know, uh, getting burned by a match, it can't kill you. David, do you like grilling? What was that? Do you like grilling? He's sushi. Like, yeah, I like night. grilling. Oh, okay. Can you light the grill? Yeah, I can take the lighter fluid and light the grill, as long as there's wooden matches. Wooden matches? <laughs> what, the long kind? Yeah, the long kind, the short kind, doesn't matter. Earl, are you, uh, you using, like, those 12-inch matches? No, just like the, uh, I can't even... And that's that's why you like the wooden ones better because they're longer and the fire's further away from your fingers. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's it. I used to try to light uh, cigarettes with my brothers and sisters, and I'm like, I couldn't do it. You know, it's because of the paper. I was just afraid it's just going to burn so quickly. It's just it's sad. Pussy. It is. All right. I have. I don't have that many phobias. Phobias. What friends? But I mean, uh, the, the the fear of lighting a match. Seems like it's right up there at the top. I mean, if you have a flying phobia, you don't have to do it every day. Fire we come in contact with. Errol, are you afraid of the sun? No, not at all. All right. I'm just wondering. Volcanoes? Never been near one. I couldn't tell you either way. You're so afraid of volcanoes. 877-692-1027, New York. 866-277-4969, Washington, D.C. Here's uh, Heather. Heather, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, I love you guys, especially in this new time slot. Oh, you like us? Uh, where, did, where did you used to get us? Uh, later. 
Oh, much later. You're like listening a couple to, hours later. Are you Tom listening to WJK? Area. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just dying to know if this dude can light matches like a girl. Where I, you flip the lid over on top of the match. And oh, yeah. Pull it through. You want to try that one, Earl? The girl light? Where you actually use the cover to protect yourself, which doesn't it actually even say that on a pack of matches. I've I've tried everything and it doesn't work. I All right, get out. Here, try this, Earl. All right, here you just put the, you already closed the matches. You lean it around this way, and you just squint your eyes. <laughs> That's cool. Here, try. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Fire in the hole. Heather, I right, love you guys. All right, bye, honey. Thanks, bye. Heather. Earl, we got to get you over this thing. Yeah, we got to, Earl. I can't believe you can't light a lighter. Ronnie and I now have a mission in life. Get Earl to light fire. This is why he bakes ribs. Remember when we had the big fight over how to prepare ribs? Oh, that's right. When he said, there's only one way to prepare ribs. And he goes, bait. <laughs> Here's a Mike. Mike, you're on Fez. Hey, Mike. Hey. I was just wondering, can he light one of those big plastic barbecue lighters? Yeah, they're the real long kind, Earl. Can you do that? Where are you supposed to, you know, stick it into the barbecue? No, I, I wouldn't know either way. I never tried it. And Earl, you got to be careful because that jerry curl stuff is real flammable, so don't let Fez get near you with that lighter. I'm bald, you idiot. <laughs> All right, let's stop calling people names. Please, he's calling in to help you. Do you hate fireplaces? Um, Ones that are lit? Can you go? Do you ever roast marshmallows? No, I never did it. I, I couldn't tell either way. Honey, you're missing I out on s'mores. I mean, I haven't. Done it. I don't think I've done it since I was like in fifth grade. I don't remember. What happened something in the fifth grade? Happened to you, Earl? Well, you burn up your little sister or something? No, I'm the youngest one. I didn't burn. Up now, <laughs> I sheepy says uh, this is uh, uh, Earl. Firebird. <laughs> He's young Frankenstein. <laughs> That's coming from Sheepy. Russell, Russell, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Russell. Yeah, how you doing? Caller 9236. Hoo-ah! Uh, what would Earl do if he was shipwrecked on an island with only a big lighter? Could you uh, be able to, if you're, you're trapped on an island, Earl, could you get the fire started? Yeah, of course. I mean, if, if it's you're a life Tom and, Hanks. It's a life and death situation, of course. This but... is a life and death situation. No, it's not. <laughs> yes. Stop. Another lit match thrown at Earl. <laughs> just it's going to set the studio on fire. <laughs> yeah, you know what will happen if I see a fire? I'll go over and stamp it out, Earl. Could you stamp out a fire? Could I stamp out a fire? If we light a small one for you? I don't know. I've never done it before. You want to tonight? No. <laughs> what if there was some sort of building on fire, Earl, and you had to run in and save someone? Would you do it? Hell no. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, that's a situation that, you know... Your instincts take over either way. I don't know which way it would go. What if you found out you, you showed up at your, uh, at your baby's mom's house? Right. And the house was on fire. <laughs> Wouldn't you have to have sex to have a baby's mom? Oh, yeah, mom? that's right. I didn't think of that. <laughs> All right, let's say something's gone horribly wrong at the Popeyes. All right? I prefer KFC. You're really? Pick <laughs> you're picking up your big sister at work. You got to rush in there. You do it? Of course you would do it. But you can't light a match. It's a I have a phobia. I know your big sister. She leans that booty against the wall. They're all getting out. <laughs> I'd love to talk to Horde King later about how to cure a phobia. I love people's phobias, and you never know when they're going to pop up. Everybody has them. Here's Aaron. Aaron, you're on Fez. Hey, Aaron. Yo, Ron Fez, what's up? Yeah. Yo, Earl, aren't you like the fire marshal of the building? That's right. Yeah, you are, aren't you? You're the WNEW fire marshal. First one out. Why yeah. would you put yourself in a position you know how where they you're responsible them. for people in a fire? Well, but you know you're how they pick the fire match. marshals? They pick them by <laughs> by experience. That's why Pete is the fire mar the head fire marshal. <laughs> I'm, I'm the second in seniority. That's that's the only reason why they picked them. Me, I didn't want. Them. I thought it was affirmative action. I wasn't sure how they picked them. Hey, it's fine with me. I trust Earl. I'll be the first one to smell smoke. Remember when there was a fire drill here? Nobody knew it was coming. The fire alarms went off. Oh yeah. And everyone's looking out the office window, and there's Earl on the street. He didn't get anyone out of the building. Now this is a no, 60... that's not true. I said everyone out. Everyone wanted to watch, so I went. 
Okay. No. I this, want everyone to get out of the building. This is a 60 story building, and Earl, the fire marshal, ran downstairs and then was just looking up like one of the Charlie Browns kids. I ran through these hallways, ooh, got everyone out. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. It was so sad. That was the day Mrs. Pete Johnson was here and you shoved her to get to get out of your way. That was Pete's wife? Yes. Why the mustache? A lot of people think it's Pete and drag. Uh, Derek, you're on Ron and Fez. Hello, Ron and Fez. Hey, Earl, you're making us look bad. You're making the black people look bad. Now you're scared over Always. matches. Why can't you light one out for the brothers out there? Hey, he eats Popeyes. I met Earl at Popeyes on Pennsylvania. <laughs> Earl, why don't you do this? He's Popeyes Earl, chicken. Would you like this match for Mount Martin Luther King? Oh, that would be nice. I, I, the I, Honor I, Malcolm I, X, come over and light this match. Matches, I'm I know, sorry. but for Malcolm. Come on, Earl. Give me a wooden match. match. I'll, I'll no, it. light this one right here. Not lighting a match. That paper match. Would you? Would you light it for ten dollars? <laughs> No. $20. I got 20 no. $50. <gasps> $50 for a match, Earl. <laughs> yeah, I'm a right, dirty right side of the body. I know I got, a, I got a lot of psychoses going in my head. That is, is strange. Hey, Earl, come on, for the black guy. Just lay it up one time. Let the brothers stand for themselves. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Take it easy, Ronald. See you, my friend. Earl, come on, buddy. I don't understand how someone can like hydrant so much and fire so little. Exact opposite, remember? Oh, yeah. Mike, Mike, you're on Fez. Hey, Mike. Mike, go ahead, buddy. Hello? Yeah, yeah go ahead, pal. Oh, yeah, Ron. Uh, I, uh, I'm i going to start a letter writing campaign. I think we, we can get Stephen Ball when you and him. Yeah, the great. hard part, though, yeah. I don't know if we can get them to take Fez. That's okay, buddy. Thank you. How buddy. you doing, sir? Okay, That's, Mike. Uh, 470 is your total? Oh, uh, he's working at the gas station. Uh, Five dollars? <laughs> Uh, here you go, sir. Thank you very much. Wow. I don't even... Gas station Dom... confessions here. Dominoes, actually. Hey, Earl, what do you think about lighting a cross? Oh. See ya. White people are so scared of black people. And, of course, black people are so scared of matches. That I didn't know till tonight. Sure. I had no idea. Will you not light the match because it's too much like work? <laughs> There's David. David, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, David. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, Earl. How are you going to light your Kwanzaa candles this season? I don't celebrate Kwanzaa. Why we not? Don't. Celebrate Christmas. What is I that? do. I want the presents. Isn't uh, Kwanzaa eight days of lights? Something like it's, that. Yeah. Kind of like Hanukkah. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. I thought it was a campground. No, I don't celebrate <laughs> Kwanzaa. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Earl. Come over and light this for Malcolm X. He's not going to light a match. You know what, Earl, if it's up to you, Martin Luther King's Eternal Flame would just be sitting there doused. I know. That, have you ever been there to see the Eternal Flame? No, I haven't. You couldn't go close to it, could you? It's too much I, open flame. I don't know if I would, Earl. Would you jump over a candlestick tonight? <laughs> Jack? <laughs> Please? We're going to get you through this. Don't worry. How about for the dead funk brother? Ah. Uh, Johnny Griffith? All right, 2Q wrote in something interesting, Fez. Will you light the match with a pair of tweezers? Ooh, so interesting. You're farther apart from it. No. All right, when we come back, we're going to uh, teach Earl about fire. All right, cool. I love it. 877-692-1027, New York. 866-277-4969, D.C. I always love when you learn something new about a coworker. And tonight we found out, and we've known him a long time, we did not know Earl was afraid of fire. It's around Fez show. Trying to help Black Earl tonight. Found out that he gets scared when it's hot in the city. He has a fear of matches. Earl, when did this start? How long have you known you've had a fear of matches? Um, good question. Probably, probably ever since I was a kid. Like when kids would shoot off firecrackers and everything. You always really? hated that? Hated them. I mean, plus I knew, I knew one guy had lost a finger. We Parker. all do, but, you know, right. we light matches. This on the answer feedback, Earl, what would you do if you and a, and a woman candlelight dinner? Would you hand her the matches to light it? Depends where the dinner is. You, it's have at, you? It's at the restaurant, of course. I'll let the waiter light them. Have you in your life gone out of your way not to light matches, to, like, not put yourself in a situation where there could be fire or 
Um, not that I could think of. No. I mean, just... What about when guys are throwing Thanks. matches? It really I'm makes you run. I'm going to burn the place down. You think that this little match has that kind of power? Yes. That's you child. need all kinds of stuff. <laughs> you like it all childish? Yes. Yes. You need all kinds of stuff to take down a building this size. Not just one little paper match. Earl, we got to get you through this. We got to do something for our pal. Earl, what happened? No, I honestly don't know. I just it just freaked me out. Were you always afraid of fireworks? Not fireworks, like like um, what is it? Like, like sparklers, M80s, like M80s, or firecrackers, or firecrackers. Those. All they, right, but you they realize, were more annoying to me than like. All right, but you afraid. realize that this match is not an M80; it's just a match. Well, I know that, but it's just I don't know. I I, I wish I knew. Well, I there's got to be something somewhere. He's never grilled in your life. Never made steaks. No, like my, like my father always did all that stuff. So I never right, but now you're an about. adult. Yes, I understand. Big girl's not going to be around to cook your meat all the time. <laughs> Here's Joe. Joe, you're on Run and Fez. Hey, Joe. Hey. Yeah. But I... Listen, man, life is, like, boring. I mean, you see a few things that are very interesting. Fire is, like, interesting. You look at it, you're like, what the hell is this? You know, it dances around. It's like... <laughs> what the hell is that? It is phenomenal when you really think about it. There's nothing like fire. Oh, it... you never thought of enjoying it at all, like, from a distance or... Just the awe of it? Yeah, like it's when, hypnotizing. When you watch a fireplace. Yeah, you just sit there for hours on end. That's why people go camping, so they can look at the fire. Some of the greatest ideas known to... Get a pair of headphones on, Earl. Now Some he's of, just all of a sudden filing carts, right, Ronnie. Like, very busy. <laughs> spots. Is that what you call it? Here's uh, Christian. Christian, you're on with uh, Black Earl, the uh, fireman. Hi, Christian. Hey, buddies. Yeah, buddy. Two two five two five. Hua. There's your hua. I got a I got a question for him. If he was given the same honor as the great Muhammad Ali to carry the torch in the upcoming Olympic event, would he step up to that challenge? Would you carry the torch? Of course, that's an honor. For, first of all, let me say this: I resent the name Muhammad Ali. His mom named him Clay. I call him Clay. <laughs> I'm saying that he was the greatest. Yeah. All right, here's Jim. Jim, you're on Ron and Fez. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Jim, go ahead. How's it going, guys? Uh, does he run screaming from a birthday cake on his birthday or what? No, I'm not afraid of fire. I'm just afraid of of starting it. You guys remember <laughs> in the movie Quest for Fire when Ray Dawn Chong was starting a fire and the three cavemen were looking at it with, with fear and joy and, and all these amazement all at the same time? Is that what he's like when he's starting a fire? That is how he is today in 2002. <laughs> He still has a quest for fire. You're still Ray Dong Chung. <laughs> Hello, Your Majesty. Hello, guys. Hello, Earl. Hello, Your Majesty. Earl, oh, have you ever been diagnosed as having an anxiety disorder? Have you, Earl? Do I have an anxiety disorder? Yeah. Anyone ever diagnose you? No. I'm going to see a shrink in my life. Okay. Well, you say that like that's uh, something to be proud of. It's just like seeing a regular doctor for a physiological condition. Oh, he don't go to the dentist either. Well, it must be part English then. All right, Earl, uh, maybe you want to get this dealt with. That's not something I never really thought about. What would they... what, what's your reaction, Earl, when you get exposed to, uh, to the match? All right, here, let's just test it. Right. Let's go ahead. We'll test it out. All right, here... Uh, comes lighters into the room close to him matches chucking at him are right, you do better with lighters around you than you do than someone yeah. chucking them yeah the match scares him more than a lighter that's okay. interesting he can stand next to a lighter it's the match I right, know he's, he's just trying to out. blow everything out Horde king no because yeah. Roy lit three matches and he's flicking them at you like he's going to toss them at you Jesus. <laughs> now, are, are you getting anxious when uh, when you see the matches coming towards you Earl, answer Horde King. Most people are. What is it? They're fire. Well, Please talk there, to the Horde King. fear of fire, and then Did he get no burnt? reasonable fear of matches. Did you just hit him with one? No, no, it missed him. All right, Rory, we were all having fun. What happened, Earl? It me in the tongue. It didn't hit you. Earl, so just Rory, let you. the big people play with matches. All right, answer him. Um, let, let, let me rephrase that question. Yeah. If the matches weren't being thrown at you... And you were asked instead to light a match. What would that uh, produce in you? All right, why don't you just do this? Why don't we just give them the matches and you try and light them and see how you feel. And you can explain that to Horde King. 
Okay, uh, Earl? You don't right. have to light the matches. Do as much as you can. Right. Here's a pack of matches. Go ahead and tell them how those. you feel right now. What? Right, right now? Right yeah. this very second. Yeah, with the pack of matches in your hand. I'm fine with them. My hands are shaking a little bit. Okay, so... Your hands are shaking. All right. Are they clammy? No, not at all. You're sweating? Nope. Let me feel your palms. They're cold and wet. Yeah. Okay, do you feel an increased uh, heart rate or palpitations? No, not at all. Okay. So, basically, what you're describing is just that you're having cold and clammy hands and that you're uh, sweating and trembling. No, I'm not, not. I mean, I'm nervous because I'm holding a That's imagine. trembling. Yeah, you're all antsy. <laughs> antsy too. Now, um, you know, the, it seems like you you may have. You used the word yourself before phobia, and this is a type of phobia which is uh, known as a specific phobia, which is basically an excessive or unreasonable fear. Um, it's like a nut would have this, right? Well, I think most people would be afraid of fire. Right. But the unreasonable fear is holding a match in your hand and being asked to light it. I mean, the whole reason why they tried to scare us as a kid with, you know, hell was all fire is because that's a primal fear. Yeah. Uh, most, uh, interestingly enough, when most specific fears arise during childhood or adolescence, but most of them disappear on their own. Um, about In about half the cases, it doesn't. And uh, it becomes like a pervasive condition. That's where you are, Earl. Hart King, what about the fact that he can't remember when this started, that it's just been in his head as long as he can remember? Well, the, the classic explanation as far as how a phobia arises... Bad uncle. Is <laughs> ...aside from that one, is that it's actually something of uh, tremendous symbolic importance to the person, which could, they're not even aware of. Could, Earl, could this be because your people were branded? <laughs> no. Could it go back that far? Well, I don't think so. Mandingo in a pot? I don't believe in reincarnation, so I don't think that would happen. Well, I mean, just hearing the stories. Well, I mean, you have a lot of repression and displacement, and when you have that, you can have phobias resulting. All right, what should he do to deal with this, Hoyt King? Well, usually this is treated with a type of behavioral conditioning, and the main technique is a graduated series of exposures to increasing levels of the... Uh, thing that will produce the anxiety like for example if uh, you're if you can't light the match then the first step would be to hold it in your hand the next step would be to you know strike the match without actually lighting it but just to put it against the um, cheek the cheek <laughs> no, between the cheek the and gum the um, you know the matchbook cover so, right. that, so that can be lit why don't you just try it. rubbing it on the matchbook cover and see how you feel all right, he's got a match ripped out of the pack. Yeah. Just rub it on the top of the matchbook cover, like we would with an infant. There he goes. There he is. <laughs> we couldn't do it long. What, he what just it, what rubbed, did you feel when you he did rubbed it real soft there. Like it could explode, right, Earl? No, I, I, I can, again, I can't explain it. Now rub this. Stop it. Well, you can't explain Which why would you rather rub? because it's very deeply suppressed. Um, but Excuse me, repressed. But... Um, you would be able to explain like how you feel when you do it. Obviously, you feel very uncomfortable, but but can you be more descriptive in how you feel? Yeah, He's keeping a just, bottle of water right next to him. Yeah, I'm just uncomfortable I, again, but I can use wooden matches. I can't figure that one out either. Hmm. Now, this is an obvious question, but did you ever have a bad experience with a uh, non-wooden match like the kind you're holding now? No, not at all. I mean, I never. I was you ever had a bad experience with wood? <laughs> That was a long time ago. <laughs> no, but I mean, um, like with with paper, like regular matches, I never, I never used them, so I never had to. Uh, Would we ever be able to just keep working with them slowly, lighter maybe? Because you can't light a lighter, Earl. Matches until so finally we get up to the point where he's strong enough and comfortable enough to light across. Sure. <laughs> I am Is not that possible? Lighting across. You can do it, Earl. No, I believe. I'm not. I believe you can do it if we keep working at it. But, we keep lighting things until, you know, we work up to his graduation day, a fair faucet burning bed. Well, I think that if it's something which bothers Earl a great deal, then it would be worth pursuing. But if it doesn't, um, 
if, if Earl himself doesn't feel that the, that this uh, fear is unreasonable or excessive, and it doesn't give him undue anxiety, then it's not really something that we should be overly concerned with. Because so you're match, saying just live live with it. Well, not being able to light a specific type of match isn't really going to interfere with your social life or your occupational life, or if you're a student, your academic life. It's really just not going to interfere with anything. You're able to function in all situations except perhaps being a castaway. So the odds of that happening Aww. are not all that great. All right, what if he has a child and that child wants a birthday cake? He makes the baby do it? Well, uh, there are other things that can be used instead of the matches that he's afraid of. Look, they have, they you I, can't I, hold that cake up I've to seen the stove. Like, I've seen these, like, these automatic... Uh, God. What? I, I can't even describe. But I, are you talking about electricity? the gasoline, the gasoline <laughs> matches? Uh, you're talking about a light bulb now? <laughs> no. No, but they're like safety. I, mean, I can't even. Blowtorch? Not a blowtorch. <laughs> hmm. I can't even describe it. I'm sorry. But, but there are things. The phobic of it. There are that you can. There are things that you can use, and that I'm sure you've used in the past, right? Yeah, no. Again, like in the birthday cake example, what would you do? Have pie. <laughs> no, I'd probably use wooden matches. Okay. You have them? Yeah, I have wooden matches. Well, you got them here at the building? No, not here. I have them at home. I bring them tomorrow. I have, I have okay. them at home because I usually. There uh, we go. Because every once in a while they have the pilot light. Oh, Fez has wooden matches. This is very. If you can write wooden matches, this is very interesting to me. Then it has to be something that maybe somebody said to him as a little kid. Either said or did or actually occurred to him, which he no longer remembers. But um, it's oddly enough, he just ro all right, but you blew it right out. You can't hold on to it. I just lit one. Yeah, but light it and just hold it in your hand. Yeah, don't worry about the sprinklers going off. Billy needs a bath anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what about us? Thank you. King. All right, so all he can use are wooden matches. All right, go ahead and light another wooden match. So you're saying he's okay, Horde King. I'm saying we that shouldn't even cure I, it. I'm saying that since it doesn't interfere, look with how his... he puts no oomph into his wooden match. I did, I put, put a little elbow grease in into half. a big man. Strike that thing. <laughs> Maybe uh, yeah, Rory I, needs to hit the. I think you have to describe to me what's going on there. You're saying he's lighting it or he's not lighting it? Yeah, he's lit a uh, wooden match, and now he's holding it. He's holding it like Cassius Clay running with the torch. <laughs> if Cassius Clay was a giant. Hey, am I getting that Ali movie or no? That's not happening for Yeah, me? I'm going to get it. Yeah, I just, uh, just not today. I have to get it tomorrow. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Doral, is this giving you a lot of discomfort holding this match? No, not no, at all. No, he does okay with a wooden match. He's okay with a wooden match. Man, that paper is matches. weird. Yeah. I'm a weird guy. Why can I say that? All right, that? we got a break here? Yeah, I'll say yeah. paper roses. All well, right, thanks. Let me, let me just uh, sum up. Earl, you're, yeah. you're functioning in all levels, in all planes with this uh, phobia, and you have alternatives available to you. You're doing fine. Earl, can you go underwater? Um, God, I haven't swam in ages. I don't know if I could. Let's put his head, yeah. Let's put his head in a bucket of water after we're back. <laughs> Get the bucket! All right, thank you, Hoyt King. We'll see what other folks right. use we can uncover. Right. After that, we'll have him climb a ladder. <laughs> show his dink in public. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What? Why won't you show your dink in public, Earl? Because <laughs> I don't want to get arrested, that's what. I just well, take sorts of amusement. I just <laughs> take Billy in the other room and show him. I am not showing my dink in front of Billy. Billy, Billy is gonna do it. Billy is it okay with you? That's Billy. I think this will help. No way. And it's the only way to make you get over the uh, fire phobia. Billy, we have a question for you. Yeah. Is it okay? Would you go in the other room and look at Earl's dink? Oh, of course. Would you touch it? Yeah, I'm hetero. I'm not got no problem touching All right. man's dink. Oh. Yes, I'm hetero. I'll touch it. <laughs> All right, Earl. No, you and not this, my dink. should we call Horde King back? I am not <laughs> showing my dink. You have dinkophobia. <laughs> Pretend I'm a doctor and I'm giving you an exam. You are you are far from a doctor. <laughs> the prescription bottles on him. You think he's a doctor? You have so many odd things, Earl. All right, we're gonna take a break. <laughs> I'm not denying that. <laughs> You're totally weird. You don't even want Billy to see your dink. Live at 1027 WMEW.